Oh, my God. Oh, 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 it oh. is bright here. <laughs> Look, um, it's Human Rights Day tomorrow. That's why we're here tonight and we're spending the night. Some of us are going to spend the night here and wake up during Human Rights Day. And Human Rights Day uh, is a, a declaration from the United Nations that declares that every human being has a right to housing. Amen. And I'm here to tell you that there is plenty of housing in Fresno. There's thousands of houses that are vacant. Thousands more that are abandoned and foreclosed and bank owned. There's lots of buildings downtown and elsewhere that could be converted for the homeless to live in decently. So it's not a problem of not having the housing. It's a question of priorities for the economic and political system that we live in. And we have to change that system. That system has got to be changed. It's not going to happen today or tomorrow. We have to address issues of homelessness here and now. And that's why I want to talk about the issue of getting trash bins, portable toilets, and drinking water for the homeless. One, one thing that I found that just sort of astonished me when I started looking at this is it's actually less expensive for governments, for cities, counties, and states to provide decent housing for people than it is to allow these homeless encampments to exist. That's right. It might cost a hundred thousand. I was talking to Howard a few minutes ago. He cited a study where it cost a city a million dollars a year for one homeless person because of all the trips to the hospital, all the policing, all the issues that go on out in the community. And that person could have lived in a beachfront condominium with <laughs> concierge service and a chauffeur for the amount of money the government spent on him to live on the streets, That's right. going to the emergency room almost every night. It's wrong. We can do better than that. <laughs> what I want to tell you about is my experience in trying to get a trash bin for a homeless encampment on Santa Clara and E Street. It seems like it would be a really simple thing to do. You just put one out. The city already comes out there periodically, every month or so, and picks the garbage off the ground. It, it, they let it pile for about a month or so, and there's huge piles, there's rats in them. It's very problematic. It's a health hazard, it's unsightly, it's unnecessary. So I, I said to Greg Barfield, <clears throat> who's the homeless czar here in Fresno, put a trash bin out there, it'll save the taxpayers money. It'll be cleaner, it's more healthy. And he wouldn't do it. So I asked him to help me work with the city to get one out there and he, his only advice was to talk to Solid Waste or a private vendor to get a trash bin at this location. And so I called Solid Waste and they said they couldn't do it because I didn't have a street address. <laughs> then I got smart and I got a street address from Google and I gave it to him and she said, oh, that's not your property. I said, no, it's, it's a homeless encampment. There's not, you know, street addresses at this homeless encampment. But it was my hope that she could figure out some way to work through that red tape. Amen. Up until now, they were not Amen. able to do that. And Greg did not help at all. It's an embarrassment that we live in this city where they will literally spend more money to make homeless people's lives more miserable. That's it's right. a shame. Right. Um, one good thing that came out of tonight is, you know, there was this whole privatization issue that came up with solid waste and the city wants to privatize the solid waste department. Well, one of the people who work in solid waste came up to me after the hearing and said she would help me break through that red tape. Amen. So that is... Yeah. Yeah.